Hello squirrels and welcome to BBM6 TV or should I say hello pot pickers because today we're going to be looking at plosives. Now the reason is that uh, Cami I left a comment on my video that compared this the Shure SM, the venerable Shure SM7B and this the Aston Stealth and uh, one thing um, that came over in that video was that the Shure was more resistant to plosives. Now Cami rightly pointed out that uh, part of the reason for that is that the Shure doesn't have the capsule right down at this end. The capsule's, you know, kind of back here somewhere. So you've always got a gap um, uh, between the, the grid and then the, the foam windshield and uh, the capsule. Uh, whereas I think the, the, the Aston's is, is, is further forward, although the Aston does um, contain a built-in windshield. So uh, I think props, I would say, to, to the Shure designers uh, for that. But his point is, well, probably we would use a, a windshield um, if we were using the, um, the Stealth in the studio in a professional context, and therefore that, you know, maybe it wasn't absolutely fair. Well, my line it kind of is, you know, the manufacturers make them the way they make them. That's, they, they, their design choices are up to them. But uh, feeling his pain, I've dug out my Harken uh, Pop Killer. Now, this is a great bit of kit. I think it's made in Norway from icebergs and th things left over from the oil industry. But it really is a good bit of kit. Actually, before I do this, let me just let me just pop it without this. So here we go uh, with a bit of poppage from um, the Aston Stealth. I'm, I'm, I'm going to lean in a little bit. Peter Piper picked a peck of... Pl um, I'll try again. Peter Piper picked a peck... Peter Piper picked a peck. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled plosives. Where's the pl Where's the peck of plick Where's the peck of pickled plosives Peter Piper picked? Ha! There we go. So Peter Piper plosives and the stealth with its built-in windshield, but without the marvelous uh, uh, pop killer. Now I should say that of course buying a pop killer will even up the prices a little bit. The Stealth is a bit cheaper. And of course, it's a very, very versatile system. It's, you know, it's got a built-in uh, amplifier, which isn't engaged at the moment. Um, uh, and it's got its different voices. It's a very different microphone. But anyway, here it is with the Harken Pop Killer in place. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled plosives. Where's the peck of pe oh. Where's the peck of pickled plosives Peter Piper picked with the Harken Pop Killer in place? Now, hopefully... All things being well, actually, it's a good thing, isn't it? Because if I give you a bit of chat here, you'll be able to hear exactly how transparent or untransparent, because obviously you put a great big uh, wind sock on the front and you're liable to uh, change the audio quality of the mic. Uh, the, I think the pop killer is quite transparent, but uh, see what you think. Here it is in place, and um, I'll take it out. Uh, we've been doing a, a plosives experiment with the Stealth and the Harken Pop Killer um, in reply to Camille's question on my SM7B and um, Stealth video. And if you want to see them, hear them compared to each other without the Pop Killer, that's the place to go next. I'll put the link up. Thank you for coming to PPM6 TV. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Keep coming back and keep leaving your comments. See you soon. Bye for now.